Hi it's Vic, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how I created this card. So they're all La La Land Crafts products I've used today. So to start with I'm going to be showing you how I made my card base. So I have an A4 piece of card so I'm just placing that on my scoring board and I'm going to trim the card at just over 8 inches. And then I'm taking my scoring tool and I'm scoring this at four and one eighth inches and I'm scoring it all the way down on my piece of card. And then I'm just turning my piece of card just once and then I'm going to go ahead and score this at two inches. Again, I'm going all the way down to the bottom of the card and then I'm scoring this on the opposite side again at two inches. So once all your score marks are down, your card should look like this. So now I'm going to be cutting off the top side. So where I've just pointed with my score tool, I'm going to go in with my paper trimmer and then I'm just going down a little bit where you can see there's that square in the middle. So I'm just trimming the top parts of them edges off my card. So once that first edge has been trimmed off, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side so you'll be able to see more of what the card base is going to look like. So this is the last piece that I'm trimming off. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my paper trimmer for that. And then I'm going to remove that piece and this is the card size we're working with. So I have my score tool, so I'm just going to go ahead and go over them pieces that we scored and this is the card base so you have your square bit at the front and then the two hidden doors so next I'm going in with the double stitched squares die so I'm going to go ahead and die cut two pieces of white card I did end up swapping this for some paper which you'll see in a second so I'm using the Spring Has Sprung paper pack. So I'm going to go ahead and die cut two pieces from the paper pack. So I've used two pieces of the pattern paper and then I'm still going to be using one of them white square pieces that I die cut a second ago. So you will need three of the die cut squares for this card. So once my pieces of paper have been die cut, I'm going to go back to that first white piece of card that I die cut first and I'm just going to go ahead and trim this down a little bit just so that it will sit on the hidden doors. So I've popped the measurements up on the screen for you if you need them. And then I'm just going to go ahead and adhere some of my pieces together. So this is the square piece that's going to be sitting on the front of my card. So I've just got some pink card and I'm just going to go ahead and use my paper trimmer just to add a little edge to this piece. And then I'm going to adhere the piece that's inside the card. So this is where you'll be writing your greeting. So I've just used some liquid adhesive for that. And now I have the on the wall layering stencil and I have some Distress Oxide ink. So I've got some sponge sugar and I'm just going to go ahead and add this onto the little pieces that will be on the hidden part of the card. And then using my liquid adhesive again, I'm going to go and pop this onto the front of the card. So that is the card base complete. And now I'm going to be using the large birdhouse die. This is one of my favourite dies, it's so cute. So I've gone ahead and die cut the house and then the little roof and the part on the bottom. And I'm just showing you how I add my window. So I've got some washi tape. I'm going to secure this down and then run this through my die cutting machine. And then I flip it over and just secure some washi tape at the back. I'm doing this because I'm going to be adding some 3D foam pads. So you won't need to do the washi tape if you're sticking this straight onto your card base. 
and this die comes with loads of little parts so I think it's so fun I've gone ahead and die cut some of the pieces out and then for my flowers I've just gently bent them up a little bit to make them look a bit more 3D and then I'm going to go ahead and using some liquid adhesive I'm going to go and pop these onto the little birdhouse. So for my images I've used the Tweet Tweet clear stamp set and I love this stamp set, it's so cute. Here are my birds that I've coloured in but I'm just going to quickly show you just one bird and how I coloured it in. So I've listed all the Copic markers that I've used on the side. So I usually start off with my darkest marker for shading and then I have my middle marker to blend that out and then the lightest colour which goes all over the image. And I did go over the shading twice with this just to bring out the shading a little bit more. And I've used Y15 and Y17 for the little beak and if you want to add some rosy red cheeks I've used R20. So now all my images are coloured I'm going to go ahead and adhere all my pieces to the front of the card. So I've secured that little chick down again using some washi tape just so that he doesn't move anywhere and I have my 3D foam pads that I'm just applying to the back of the birdhouse and then I'll pop this on my card along with the other two chicks. And once they're popped down, I'm gonna go ahead and do my greeting. So I have the horizontal pocket die and I love this little one that you get with the die. I think it's perfect for your greetings. So I've just gone ahead and die cut that out. And then I'm using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink just to stamp my greeting. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop my greeting on one of them little doors. So I've used some double-sided tape, but I'm only applying the tape halfway up the back piece of the greeting so that it doesn't stick down onto the piece that opens up and then I've added another little bird there so I'm going to go ahead and adhere him down and now the card's complete so this is how it looks when you open the card up and then you see the hidden doors and then there's the space to write your greeting so I hope you enjoyed the video tutorial today. Let me know if you did and thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.